Hi guys, this is Mini Ninja 101 here, and today I'm here with another Yu Gi Oh opening. <laughs> so, yeah, we are back again with these Yu Gi Oh cubes. I have no idea what to call them from, from Walmart. And yeah, the reason why I got these is because there's a Forbidden Lance in there, as you can see. And on the other side, there is a um, Stardust Dragon. So yeah, let's get into this. And yeah, the reason why, I, well, I mean, I got this was because of the Forbidden Lance. It's from Storm Ragnarok. I think it's a limited edition, but it's been years since I've had one of, one of those in my collection. And it's been years since I've opened up a Storm of Ragnarok to even pull one of those. So, I, there are a few at my, yeah, I got this at my local Walmart, so the one that's close to, closest to where I live. And I actually want to get more of these. Other, there are two that had uh, Strike of Neos first edition packs. So I might go back to get those sometime when I have the chance. And yep, the cube is empty. Let's see what we got. And surprisingly enough, we have four cards. Um, of course, we have the Forbidden Lance. Awesome, super rare from Storm of Ragnarok. Stardust Dragon from Shadow Spectre Special Edition. Number 65, Gen Buster from <laughs> Shadow Spectres and Musakami Magatama from Storm of Ragnarok. So we got actually four cards instead of three, even though two of them are rare. The two hollows that we got were pretty cool. And there's new six samurai cards, so who knows if that card will come in use or not. And let's see what we got for our packs. Doesn't seem to be too much of a variety, honestly. We have Two Shadow Spectres, one New Challengers, two Secrets of Eternity, and one Number Hunters. Um, what to go with first? I think I'll go with Number Hunters first, Secrets of Eternity, New Challengers, and Shadow Spectres for last. And, um, for some reason this. This pack has a security tag behind it, and this one's just sealed up really weird. Shadow Spectre, just no idea why. So I'm leaving that for last. First edition one. And number hunters first. Of course, you're, we're guaranteed hollows out of here. Nothing really too surprising out of this set to get. So we have a Photon Alexandria Queen. And yeah, just... This stall hollow hollows out of that. If anything, um, some of the recent all hollow packs that we've gotten, such as the um, Battle of Light or Battle of Legend Lights Revenge, is a good set. Pendulum Evolution is also a good set, which I'll open up some of those sometime soon. <laughs> I have no idea when. So, Secrets of Return, do we have UA Playmaker? Ah, oh, Playmaker. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they came up with this name before, huh? Yu-Gi-Oh! Brains. And this one with the security tag. I usually don't think packs with security tags on them contain anything. That's just the belief I've had for the longest time. But... If this proves me wrong, that'd be cool. We have a Tenacity of the Monarchs and <laughs> El Shadal Windigo. Okay, it did prove me wrong. Interesting. You got a super rare. Okay, so this is a not an all rare cube. That's cool. And new challengers. First edition. I would say that these two packs. Secrets of Eternity and New Challengers came out during a time where I was kind of tired of Yu-Gi-Oh. That's why I was initially got into Pokemon. But Yu-Gi-Oh right now is um, holding my interest more in Pokemon. So we have a Performer Pal, Cheermolt, and ooh, Zaborg the Mega Monarch. Ultra rare. I've actually never pulled 
this card. So that's cool. Mega Monarchs aren't really the coolest to pull, but it's all right. I mean, we got the nasty of the Monarchs to go along with it. And let's save those here. Put those there. So two secrets, I mean, uh, Shadow Spectres. One first edition, one unlimited edition. Let's see what we can pull out of here. I guess Ollie card is what I'm hoping to pull, but if not, it's cool too. Grisel Prison and that's it. <laughs> Skelosaurus used in dual links. Let's see. This first edition Shadow Spectres. I don't know why it's sealed really strangely. So I don't know what's up with it. Let's see. Oh, I see something. <laughs> number 65 Gen Buster and a number 46 Dragly Wan. Wow, cool. Two numbers out of that pack. And um <laughs> Pump Pump Princess, the Prince of Ghosts. He's in duelings as well. So yeah, that was a pretty cool last pack. Dragon Bond is actually one of the better super rares. And <laughs> funny enough, we got we pulled two. Oh wait, oops, we pulled two of number sixty-five Gym Buster, one first edition, one unlimited edition. And pretty funny. Yeah, let me do a recap of all that we got. These are the rares that we got out of our packs. Pretty cool. We actually pulled three hollows out of six, five packs that you weren't, that we aren't guaranteed hollows. Got a Mega Monarch, Dragluon, and the El Shadal card. Pretty good pulls. Of course, um, number of hunters. And, a, and lastly, the hollows. Forbidden Lance and Stardust Dragon. So yeah, I would say uh, this uh, was a really good cube overall. Three, we went three for five. And of course the Forbidden Lance Hollow. And yeah, I think I will be picking up the other two that had the Strike of Neos packs. If uh, they're still around when I go to Target Walmart next time. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's kind of long, I apologize. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe for more Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! openings. I want to thank you guys for watching. This is me, Ninja101, and I'll see you guys later and bye.